Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to show you an amazing, easy to use tool that lets you generate stunning images for free, no watermarks, no hidden costs. Whether you're looking for creative inspiration, unique visuals, or just some cool images to share, this tutorial will guide you through each step. Let's dive right in. Opening the tool. First, open your browser. I'm using Brave, but any browser will work. In the search bar, type Focus Google Collab and hit enter. Click on the first link in the search results. This will take you directly to the Focus setup page on Google Collab. Setting up the environment. Once you're on the page, click on the connect button at the top. It may take a few seconds to connect. When it's ready, you'll see the run cell option. Click on it, and a pop-up window will appear. Select Run Anyway to allow it to load the necessary libraries. This is entirely free, so no need to worry about watermarks on your final images, Focus has got you covered. Accessing Focus After the setup completes, you'll see two URLs displayed, one for public access and one for local. Use whichever you prefer. I'll use the public URL to open Focus for this tutorial. While Focus is loading, we'll prepare an image prompt to help guide the generation process. Getting a prompt for image generation. To get a prompt, I'm using ChatGPT. You can simply go to the ChatGPT website and ask for a prompt idea. If you already have one in mind, you can skip this step. Once you have your prompt ready, copy it and go back to the Focus interface. Paste your prompt into the text box, then click on Advanced Options. Adjusting Settings in Focus Number of Images Select how many images you want to generate. I'm choosing 4 images for this example. Aspect Ratio Choose your preferred aspect ratio. I'll go with 1319 for a cinematic look. Performance mode. Choose speed for faster output or quality for the highest quality. Styles. There are over 30 styles to choose from, each completely free. Focus gives you three default styles, which you can adjust by selecting or deselecting as needed. For my images, I usually pick Focus Photography and Focus Cinematic for the best results. Use the arrow button to preview how different styles look. Generating the images. Once you're happy with the settings, click Generate. The process may take a minute, but trust me, the results will be worth it. Reviewing and downloading the images. When it's done, your images will be displayed, ready for you to review. To download an image, simply click the download button. With one click, you'll have your masterpiece saved. And that's it. We've successfully generated and downloaded some awesome images with Focus. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more tool reviews or creative tips, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what tool you want to learn about next. Thanks for watching.